Bill Gates, whatever you may think of the guy, there is one thing that you cannot deny, he is very smart. He's smart at business and he's smart at investing. He made friends with Warren Buffett when he was young and he kind of copied the framework that Buffett used to make investments in the stock market, buying good quality businesses for attractive prices. And as the stock market has been falling throughout the past year, Gates has been using this as an opportunity to accumulate more stocks, to buy more stocks. Now, we can't see the personal stocks that he's buying for himself, but luckily he is legally required to disclose the stocks that he's buying over at his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust. With the trust, he's bought 13 stocks throughout the past year so far, but only five of those stocks were of significant percentage of his portfolio. The other eight were all below 1%. So let's not focus on those small ones. Here were his five biggest buys. Now I found this super interesting. His largest stock was his own company that he started oh so many years ago. Yet even today, he is still buying back into his own company. He's still buying shares in Microsoft. The same stock that he divested out of around the tech bubble in the late 1990s in order to buy other stocks and spread his portfolio, he is now buying back into that stock. Even after going up 239,000%, Bill Gates is still bullish on Microsoft. Now, just before I go on, I do want to say that Michael Larson is the chief investment officer of the Bill and Melinda Gates Trust. So he is probably making a lot of these investment decisions, but Gates is the one who picked Larson, and I'm sure that they discuss the different investments that, that they buy for the trust. So Microsoft, currently it's the second biggest company in the world. It is valued at $1.8 trillion. And like all stocks, it has been hit this year, basically all stocks I should say, down to a price of $240 from $336. It pays a dividend of 1.1% and has a relatively high PE of 25. But despite the price going down, Microsoft's fundamentals actually tell a different story. Both revenue and earnings each year have been consistently increasing. Pandemic or no pandemic, it's like this company can do no wrong. And I believe this is a key reason why the Gates Trust is buying, because the price is down, but the fundamentals still look good. His second largest recent buy was the Canadian National Railway, a stock that he's owned for a long, long time, but he is still adding to this position. Now, many people consider this an old school traditional value stock. It's been around for so long since 1919. Its business model was pure, sustainable, carrying goods throughout North America, goods that are needed to sustain the economy very low competition industry as well. You know, you can't just go and build 20,000 miles of track across three coasts like CN already have. So it's unlikely that they're going to lose business anytime soon. It is a beautiful moat, as Warren Buffett would say. The stock currently sells for $160 a share. PE ratio is slightly below Microsoft's at 22, and the dividend yield is slightly higher at 1.8%. But looking at revenue and earnings, the picture is not as impressive as Microsoft's. They have just been ever so slightly growing revenue and maintaining their earnings. Gates and Buffett have been longtime friends since way back in 1991 when they first met. You know, the famous story of them two meeting where they couldn't stop talking business and they both randomly wrote down that the most important factor to their success was focus. Gates, he started the second biggest company in the world by market cap, Microsoft, and Buffett currently has the sixth biggest Berkshire Hathaway. Bill Gates doesn't just respect Buffett as a friend, but also for the absolute genius investor that he is. That's what made them initially click. So much so that he himself invests in Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway. It was his third largest buy this year, worth 9.3% of his entire portfolio, and it now makes up his second largest position, 
worth in total 23.3% of the entire portfolio. Now Berkshire Hathaway has always been one of my favorite stocks throughout the years and it's run by two of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. They've built an incredible portfolio of both full acquisitions of companies and shares of companies throughout the years. And if you buy Berkshire, you get to own all of these wonderful businesses that they have invested in. You also get these two geniuses, let's say, at the helm making future investments in stocks that they deem fit. Gates is smart to have bought this stock a long time ago and even today he is still accumulating. The interesting thing about Berkshire is, at least for now, it has been a stock that hasn't gone down over the past year. One year ago, it was priced at $299 a share, and today it's selling for $309. I guess that wise investing in stocks that have stable, strong business models do well often when the market crashes. Berkshire, of course, we all know don't pay a dividend. Warren Buffett is kind of against that. They're a big, big company, $680 billion in market cap. Also, with that P-E ratio that you see there, don't pay too much attention to it. It is skewed higher due to an irregular net investment income that they had to write off this year. Realistically, if you're a smart analyst, you should pay more attention to the forward P-E of 21, which is more accurate for how their earnings actually are. Overall, it's a good quality company, still selling for a decent enough price, Good enough for Gates to keep buying. Coming in at number four, another stock that Gates just likes to accumulate and accumulate is waste management. It's not a pretty business. In fact, it's pretty ugly. Or maybe you could say without it, the country would be pretty ugly. And that is because waste management disposes waste. It is a North American company offering its services to nearly 21 million customers in the USA and Canada. This includes 346 transfer stations, 293 active landfill disposal sites, and 146 recycling plants. It's a good business. It's a useful business. Americans need it. Canadians need it. This business will not fade away anytime soon. Even if a recession comes, people still need their waste managed. Let's look at the numbers. Waste management has been another one of those stocks that has been resilient to the market crash. It's sitting at essentially the same price that it was sitting at one year ago. It does have a pretty high PE ratio for such a stable, lower growth company. The PE ratio is 29 and its price to free cash flow is similar at 33. Also, just like most of Gates stocks, it does pay a small dividend. The final stock that was of any significant weight to Gates' portfolio that he bought was Deer & Co. This was worth 3% of his entire portfolio. Again, I'm going to be honest here, it's a very boring company, stable, easy to understand business model. So they manufacture practical outdoor equipment, tractors, lawn care equipment, construction equipment, forestry, agricultural, etc. And the stock's price actually has gone up over the past year, completely different to the market. It's gone from $342 to $428. Now, I have no idea how Gates manages to find these stocks that have done so well in 2022, but his investments mainly have held their price, apart from Microsoft, which most investors cannot say the same thing. So, whether it's Larson doing most of the investing or Gates managing over things, their style for the Gates Trust is to buy quite conservative businesses. Microsoft, Berkshire, Canadian National Railway, all of these stocks have been around for a long time. They're proven business models. They have set products, set customers that they sell to, and the businesses that won't be disappearing anytime soon, even if a recession or three come along. It's a smart way to invest. He's gonna sleep fine at night. He's not gonna be worrying about the economy, how that is doing, because he owns great quality businesses. I gotta be honest that when I personally look at most of these stocks that he bought this year, they don't excite me massively. Maybe the one exception is Berkshire Hathaway. 
Yes, they are good businesses, but they're just not selling for amazing prices right now. The multiples on those stocks are still quite high for fairly low growth conservative stocks. That's just me. You might disagree and think they are good buys right now. So of course, everyone is allowed their own perspectives. I will keep Berkshire Hathaway on my watch list and the rest I'm going to be leaving for now. Guys, if you do want to see my portfolio and the stocks that I buy, feel free to join the Investing Academy. Link in the description. But for now, we won't be adding any of Gates' stocks. He has done very well, however, in 2022 compared to most investors.